And we're back. And once again, we're back with something I did not expect to be breaking, like, ever. WrestleMania, or not WrestleMania, Road to WrestleMania. Tops Road to WrestleMania 2015. Don't even ask me where I found this from. But the seller had three. But I didn't totally, because it's a seller I've never bought from before, so I didn't totally trust them. Because the picture they had was a generic picture, and you could not see the tops on their picture of the box. And that kind of was like, if I can't see the tops on the, on the, the, like there's, the, there it is on the back. That's easier to see. The little tops watermarks that they have all over the plastic. If I don't see those on it, it just makes me think that it's been repackaged. You can see one right there on Nikki Bella's eye. She probably had a lot of stuff like that in her eyes. Um, so I wasn't sure. So I didn't order all three boxes. I ordered one because I wanted to see what it was going to be like. And then if it was a legit box, then I'm going to grab the other two because it's a pretty decent price for an eight-year-old product. Now, Road to WrestleMania before 2017 kind of sucked because there's no guaranteed autos. All right, so these ones, you could have a guaranteed auto or you just have some guaranteed hits like swatches and some numbered cards and maybe a plate if you're lucky. I don't know. Um, the list of our autos in here is pretty small. I don't know how well you can see that, but Jimmy Hart, Afa, Alicia Fox, Bray Wyatt, Brie Bella, Brock Lesnar, Damian Mizdow, Daniel Bryan, Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, Emma, Hogan, Jack Swagger, Nikki Bella, R-Truth, Reza Ramon, Roman Reigns, Ryback, and Sika. So it's kind of like a half-half thing here. Like you could get... You could get a Bray Wyatt. You could get a Hulk Hogan. You could get a Razor Ramon. Or you could get a Damian Mizdow, a Ryback, or... Uh, and Alicia Fox. So I have no idea. There are duels in here though. Afa and Sika. Hogan and Razor Ramon. That would be killer. Um, the Bellas. Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt. Dolph Ziggler and Ryback. Damian Mizdow and Jimmy Mouth of, Mouth of the South Heart. That makes no sense. And Emma and Alicia Fox. So those are what we have a shot at in this. And I don't even think I have any autos from this set. I don't think I've ever had an auto from this set. Or if I did, possibly, I had a Roman Reigns auto from this set. I actually possibly had two Roman Reigns autos from this set. And I think I sold them both about four years ago. Because I didn't really like Roman Reigns. And I thought it was a waste of time to have Roman Reigns autos. So I've been kicking myself ever since. I finally hit a Roman Reigns auto recently from Panini. But I've never been able to re-get back a Topps Roman Reigns auto. Which now I want because I love the bloodline and I love all that stuff. So, so here we go. These are one of those boxes that have an absolute shit ton of freaking cards inside of them. Like, so freaking many cards inside. And yes, I'm just going to pop the cards down to the bottom. I'm just going to cut the tops off these damn things. These are not as easy a packs to open up either. So they're kind of a pain in the ass. Like, uh, I guess they're not that bad when you open them this way. So I think this set had also, if we see, if we see something... Oh, I thought it was if you saw the Road to WrestleMania thing. But then if that's true, then all of these cards are specialty cards. Okay. Um, yeah, we got to figure this damn set out again. There is something about this set where there was some stuff that's like a short print. But I don't think... I don't believe that is because that would be the same short print as everything else. I right, Brad Maddox gets fired. Jesus, that's an old freaking card. Seth Rollins turns on the shield. I was so happy that day. Rowdy Roddy Piper defeats Gold Dust in a Hollywood back black blah, blah. That's right. In a black. I can't say it. I can't say it. Back lot brawl. I have that plate. I know I have that plate. Oh, I. Chris Jericho defeats Kurt Angle for the European Championship. Greg the Hammer Valentine Hall of Fame card. I remember those cards. Those are nice. Triple H at WrestleMania cards. And AJ Lee and Page. 
That, like, you would figure that just that card would be worth money because people would be looking for that card because that's a very rare combination of two wrestlers together. All right, I guess we're not cutting these because it's going to be a lot easier to just rip them open like this. If we cut them, we still got to try to get the cards to slide out, and I kind of remember these packs are not easy to slide. So let's rip open four or five and just do it that way. If we see a hit... We'll try to put it aside, but we don't even know what type of hits are even going to be coming in here. I know there's bronze parallels. I can see a few of them popping up right now. And I don't remember. It's been a while since I've opened the old, old Road to WrestleMania stuff. So we can see that there's some different... Yeah, there's silver parallels... And, no, those white cards are the Hogan cards, I think. But the silver parallels are, like, unnumbered, I believe. But let's see. Bray Wyatt um, defeats Dean Ambrose in a TLC match. Primetime players. Oh. And that's, um... Oh, that really, really bad ripoff. That really bad ripoff of um the LOD... Okay, Seth Rollins, Bronze Parallel. We're just going to stick the Bronze Parallels up there. There'll be a bunch of Bronze Parallels, but... Um, what is this? Classic classic WrestleMania matches. Bret Hart, Roddy Piper. I don't know why. When I, I remember watching that one as a kid, and I wasn't that big on that match. It's weird. Um, because I, I think it was because I always liked Piper as a bad guy. Mr. Wonderful Hall of Fame. The Rock. Um, Stephanie and one of the Bellas. Yeah, we gotta figure out how... I can't remember. Maybe this isn't the set with that short print thing in it, but we'll have to check it out. Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose. We got a Daniel Bryan bronze parallel, which are unnumbered, but that's just kind of one of those special ones in here. Rob Van Dam wins money in the bank. Edge Hall of Fame. Look how young he is. He's pretty old then too, though. Um, the Rock defeats Stone Cold. There's so many subsets in this. I remember there's a ton of subsets in this box. Uh, let's see. John Cena, The Miz. Seth Rollins, WrestleMania card. Um, oh, the Iron Sheik wins the gimmick battle royal. Let's get that focused back in. I keep having to kind of turn it so I can see what the hell I'm looking at because I've got a bit of a shine on the cards the way I'm sitting. All right, so Silver Parallel, Randy Orton defeats Seth Rollins. Silver Parallels are unnumbered, but that is still one of the, like, one per box, I believe. That's a much more rare one from this. Sheamus, Classy Freddy Blassie, Triple H at WrestleMania. Stardust. I got a bunch of Stardust cards from this one. Different parallels, and I think I've got one of these autographed, like, from, like, an in-person auto that somebody got. I, Miz and Mizdow. Uh, Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman. The special Hogan set. I believe this Hogan set was supposed to go to 40. Like, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the set where once they got up to like the end of the, like the end of the 20s or something like that, it was supposed to come out in the next set. And then that's when he had the whole big, like, get, getting canceled basically thing. And I think they never completed that set. Unless I'm thinking of a different set, but I'm pretty sure that set was never completed because they just wanted nothing to do with Hogan and their sets anymore. All right. The King. I hate I, I hate calling him the King Harley Race. It just should be Harley freaking Race. All right. Triple H over Gold Dust. Nikki Bella. The Shield. And Daniel. Oh, they back Daniel Bryan. All right. Same Randy Orton card that we just got the silver parallel for a bronze parallel. Tell me Randy Orton, like, Rand, like are Randy Orton and AJ Styles, like, on the Ico Pro Juice or something like that right now? My God. Those two on the screen, they're freaking beasts now. Ron Simmons Hall of Fame. The Rock. Look at those baby Usos. Oh, it's like looking at baby pictures. All oh, the baby Usos. And Roman Reigns. All right. So, we have basically hit nothing so far. But that's only what, like... A quarter of the freaking packs i guess if you really like opening packs like back then it was more about opening the packs but my god having this many packs to open sometimes is just an absolute pain 
I'm hoping that out of the three boxes that they sent me that, like, I could be lucky that they picked the good box to send to me or something like that, because three boxes that they have in stock at this place, I would assume at least one of those boxes has got to have a freaking auto in it somewhere. There's got to be an auto card in someone. There's no way if I bought all three boxes and didn't get an auto. That would just, I would be, I would lose my shit on that one, but... That is kind of the deal with these older sets, is you cannot expect to always, always, always get an auto out of them. So when you do, you got to kind of really hope it's like a freaking special ass auto and not an Alicia Fox. Even though I collect Alicia Fox, so I shouldn't really be shit talking her. All right, we have, we have something here, which feels like it's our relic. So let's hide our relic right now so at least we have something to look at so we've got a relic down there behind the tribal chief so at least we know we got some type of a hit there with the relic okay sting pissing off triple h roman reigns defeats randy orton i hopefully that doesn't happen again soon um, Dolph ziggler bronze parallel we're gonna have a pretty good pile of bronze parallels up there um, Eddie, Rey Mysterio defeats Eddie Guerrero, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, The Rock, Paige defeats AJ Lee for the Women's Championship, Dean Ambrose defeats Bray Wyatt in a boot camp match, why is that one yellow on the outside, is that because it's tribute to the troops or something, I guess, I don't know, alright, another Hogan card, Hogan... What is it? Defeats Triple H for the Undisputed Championship. What a joke that was. Uh, the Twin Towers defeat the Rockers. I love the Twin Towers. I really did. Uh, they were... And I, I don't know what was better. The Twin Towers or when they were the natural... When, like, the natural disasters. Both were awesome big man teams. Sergeant Slaughter. Triple H and... The Undertaker. John Cena wins the championship in a ladder match. Dean Ambrose, Road to WrestleMania. See, they got so many colors around these. I'm like, that's really red. But there's no numbering on it. So that's just meaning that it's raw, probably. It's a really freaking red card, though. Um, Evolution. I was there. I was... I'm on... I've probably mentioned this before, but... The, the video where they put Randy Orton up on their shoulders, then Triple H does the down thing, and then everybody, then they beat the crap out of him for winning the championship at SummerSlam. Yeah, if you look in the crowd in the bottom left corner of your screen on your TV, I'm like the first guy to jump up and start cheering. Even though now I'm the biggest Randy Orton fan, but back then I was so happy to see them kick the crap out of Randy Orton. Yeah, I was second row ringside. I got the tickets for free from my job. And yeah, I was so excited. And when I saw them do that and like just before, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but just before they turn on Randy Orton, this stupid kid in front of me had this sign that said, welcome to London, Ontario, Canada, written in like a yellow crayon that no one could see. And he held it up every freaking match and kept blocking our view. And I finally snatched it out of his hand and just tossed it. I thought I was going to get tossed out by security for doing it because the mom started screaming at me. But then, like, just after that was when they turned on Randy Orton. But, oh, my God. Signs in people's faces. And I know it was a kid, but, God damn it. No one cares. No one can read the sign. Even on TV, when I watch it on Peacock, you cannot read this kid's freaking sign. So, his sign deserved to get thrown down so I could see them kick the crap out of Randy Orton. Okay, that was my little side story there. All right, Stone Cold Steve Austin defeats Savio Vega. He should. All right, Ricky LaDragoon Steamboat. John Cena. Who battles John Cena? The Rock. All right, another page card. Daniel Bryan gets married to Brie Bella. Whoopee crap. All right, Batista quits WWE. That was the greatest day in WWE history. Roddy Piper defeats Adrian Adonis in a hair versus hair match. That is not the photo from the picture from that match. It does not look like the photo from that match because I was at that match. WrestleMania 3, I was there. We've talked about that before. First ever event my dad ever took me to was WrestleMania 3. Rowdy Piper, Triple H defeating Chris Jericho. That should be WrestleMania X8, right? I was there for that one as well. All right, the bunny in his debut match. That was stupid. 
The Rock, Stardust defeats Gold Dust or turns on Gold Dust. Sting returns to help Randy Orton even though they don't really know each other. The Shield defeat Evolution. Uh, so we got a lot of freaking bronze parallels up here. Turbo Man is going to have to get out of the way pretty soon at the, up there. Uh, Edge wins Money in the Bank. Chief J Strongbow, Rock Bottom. Who is it again? The Ascension. That's who we were talking about before. Like LOD from Wish, The Ascension. They could have been good. I, I do, I always wonder, I'm always like, oh, everybody always blames Vince McMahon, but honestly, I do kind of put a little bit of it on McMahon, where he just never wants to push certain, certain people, certain wrestlers, and stuff like that, it just seems with tag teams, he just never knew what to do with them. I Harley Race defeats Junkyard Dog in a Loser Must Bow match, WrestleMania 3, I'm somewhere in that card. Jerry the King Lawler. What do we have? Brock Lesnar has two belts. Dolph Ziggler flying through the air. All right. Christian defeats Jericho. Jimmy the Super Killer Snooka. Um, Rock and Stone Cold. Daniel Bryan about to punch. Is that Dolph in the face? And Adam Rose makes his WWE debut. Jesus. that's That was a long time ago. All right. So... We've got a silver parallel, and we've got some type of relic up there, which feels like it's probably one of the map relics, which is like one of the WrestleManias. Uh, let's get a bunch of these open, and we'll get through this stuff and see what we are going to have. I'm, I have autos that I'm just absolutely hoping for, but you got it, God, this is such an old product. And who knows how many of the autos have been pulled. Who knows how many autos are still out there. God, who knows how many boxes of this are still out there. Like my card shop that I go to, they did have some boxes of this stuff. And somebody, I ended up buying them out for somebody back in the U.S. that wanted to buy a bunch of stuff to open for themselves. So I a lot of product that I could have and should have opened for myself, I just end up sending to other people. <laughs> Because it's like, I don't have the cash to drop to buy a crap ton of stuff. So if somebody else is willing to spend and pay for the shipping and get the cards from here, I have no I have no problem buying the stuff for them and sending it to them. So, yeah, I remember sending a bunch of these, and I think they got a couple of pretty sweet autos out of them as well. That ones that have been sitting on the shelf forever. I oh, Cena over Rollins, Hulk Hogan in what is that? Oh, that's a, that's a Road Wild, Razor Ramon the ladder match, Iron Sheik, Triple H defeats Randy Orton, Rusev back when he was useful and cool and an actual wrestler. Uh, Randy Orton, we have one of the crazy Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose attacks the Authority with a hot dog cart. Is is there anybody else who just never got Dean Ambrose? Like, just never got him. I just never did. Um, Goldberg defeats Brock Lesnar. Nature Boy. Wings! <laughs> if anybody listens to the Jim Cornette, you'll know what I'm talking about. Or if you see, the, see any of his previews for his new Woo Wings, where he's like, Wings! It just makes me laugh. All right, Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan and Hogan. God, two people that just never, ever made me give a crap about them. Randy Orton defeats CM Punk. That's a travesty. Million Dollar Man. Um, Triple H and Undertaker in a steel cage match. I'm really hoping that we're keeping the focus properly on here because I've not been looking at the camera at all. Rusev, The Authority, The Wyatt Family. A very nice Sting bronze parallel. All right, Lex Luger over perfect. Cowboy Bob Orton. R what's Rock Bottom on Cena? Stardust and Gold Dust defeat the Usos for the championship. That was a great day, even though I like the Usos. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. I have this played as well. Yes, I have this plate. I know I have that plate. That was just like from random plates I picked up when I first started, like first started collecting. I was just grabbing plates. And I was trying to get like a bit of a Tyson Kidd collection going for some reason. I think I've think been drinking. 
Uh, let's see, Hogan on Nitro. All right, Pat Patterson, Triple H, Tyson Kidd, and Cesaro win the championship. Um, Triple H defeats Sting. Yeah, what were they even thinking when they did that? Um, John Cena, Bronze Parallel. We got some nice Bronze Parallels, even though they're really not worth anything. Don Morocco. God, one of my favorite heels from when I was a kid. Absolutely one of my favorite heels as a kid. Ziggle Piggle. Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins. Daniel Bryan. Big John Stud. Probably one of, again, one of my favorite big men from when I was a kid because he was just such a monster. I know he wasn't that imposing in the ring and he didn't really have that great of a WWE career, especially in the in the mid to late 80s, but oh, I just thought he was the coolest thing ever when I first got into wrestling. Volkov, loved Volkov as well. He's probably the first heel that really, really got heat like the, when I watched. Like I just loved the heat that Volkov pulled in for singing the national anthem. And then for me, I actually liked Sheik and Volkov because... It was like Sheik and Volkov were so cool over the, like just for the fact that, that there's something in there. I'm trying to figure out if that was an auto or if it's like another relic. Um, I love Sheik and Volkov. That's what I was saying, right? Is that what I said? I love Sheik and Volkov. Yes. I love Sheik and Volkov for the fact that they were up against a lot of the... American heroes. They were up against Hacksaw Jim Duggan. They were up against Hulk Hogan. They were up against Wyndham and Rotunda because this was pre Bret Hart time. And I'm a Canadian kid listening to them always chanting USA, USA, USA. I think I've talked about that on here before as well, where it was just, it was just a thing that got to me as a kid where I was like, there's no Canadian. And then when the Hart Foundation showed up, I remember thinking like, my God, this is awesome. Like there's there's like a killer Canadian on here now. Like they're a heel team, but who cares? Like it's a Canadian team. All right, so it feels like we got a second relic. So we're going to put the relic behind Nikolai since we were just talking about him. So I think we are not going to be having an auto in here. But that's okay. We weren't expecting an auto. Like, I think the first time I opened one of these boxes, I didn't know that there wasn't guaranteed autos. So I was pissed. I was flipping through the cards again and again and again, trying to figure out what the hell. All right, Eddie, Rocky Johnson, Triple H defeats Brock Lesnar, John Cena over Rusev, Daniel Bryan. There he is. Corporal Kirshner defeats Nikolai Volkov in a flag match. What's that? WrestleMania 2. That should be WrestleMania 2, right? I can't see that. Okay. Um, team Hell No. Hell No. Tito Santana. I hated Tito Santana as a kid. I respect him now, but God, I hated Tito Santana when I was a kid. Um, Seth Rollins wins money in the bank. Uh, John Chena. I uh, Jimmy and I have that I have freaking hell how many how many of the the plates from this set do I have I have the plate for this one as well I got a lot of plates from this set Coco beware what was I complaining about I was complaining about something wasn't I what was I complaining about I was gonna complain about something I don't even remember Tito was it Tito never liked Tito like I said, I respect him now, but I didn't like Tito when I was a kid because he was always going up against Macho Man, and I loved Macho Man. Coco Beware, everybody, God, every time anybody talks about the Hall of Fame and they want their wrestler in, they always say, Leo, if Coco Beware can be in the Hall of Fame, then anybody else can. Like, shut, the, shut up. Coco Beware, just because he was Coco Beware in WWE and he was a weird little funny character, doesn't mean that guy didn't have a really damn good career. And people always like, oh yeah, but nobody cares about the rest of their career. Well, a lot of people do. And when he was Stagger Lee, when he was Coco, when he was all that stuff, when he was in like Mid-South, when he was in, I believe, USWA, when he was in the territories, he was a force. Like he's a little force, but he was a force. So I really think that he deserved that Hall of Fame nod because that was more for the whole career, even though WWE doesn't really acknowledge the whole career. So anybody saying that like somebody deserves it over Coco, maybe there are people that deserve it over Coco, but Coco, but like to diminish what Coco did for wrestling and how big he was, 
Like, he was JYD level big in the territories, and JYD was big. And people forget how big JYD was because most people just remember the getting fat, drugged up, coked up JYD that we saw in the 80s into the 90s. Okay, enough on that. Bad news, Barrett. Now I kind of remember it. I think if there's a date, if there's Road to WrestleMania, there's a date beside it. That's the short print cards. Hogan and Ducks, Macho Man, The Miz and Miz now, Kane, Larry Zabisco. Alright. Uh, um, the Nasty Boys over the Heart Foundation. God, I hate the Nasty Boys. Never was a fan. I don't think I ever will be a fan. Gorilla Monsoon, The Rock and Sock Connection, John Cena, and The Authority severs ties with Randy Orton. Okay, so like I said, maybe we missed a short print card, but it's going to take forever to see if it is. There should be a date, if I'm remembering correctly, which I'm pretty sure I am, is that if the card has Road to WrestleMania with a date beside it up here in yellow, then that should be the short print card for the box or for the set. And I'm pretty sure with this set, there was usually one per box, possibly. I know you guys just want to see my hits, but <laughs> buy me a drink first. All right. Yeah, that was a bad joke, but it was kind of funny at the same time because I'm laughing inside. Kind of like my new tattoo. I got a new, I got five new tattoos last Saturday. My God, I'm I sore. But one of my tattoos, I usually get tattoos that are like completely like they're very, very meaningful. And then I just picked a random tattoo off the wall because it made me laugh. And I now have a tiny little sandwich with a happy face on it on my shoulder staring at me. And whenever I look in the mirror or if I like pull down the, the corner of my shirt over my shoulder, I have a funny little a funny little happy sandwich. And he's looking at me and he looks so happy to be looking at me. And it just makes me laugh. So that's why I have that stupid tattoo. And I've tried to explain it to my wife and she said it's not funny. She said I should have got something meaningful about her and I. Which you would think that me getting our wedding day like right there on my arm in like Roman script or Roman numerals would be meaningful, but it wasn't meaningful enough. It should have been more meaningful is what I've been told. So I shouldn't even have bothered with that tattoo. I should have got two sandwiches because if I didn't, if I got two sandwiches or one sandwich, either way, it doesn't matter. I still get in trouble for not getting a meaningful tattoo about her. I could have gotten like one of those, like the, um, we're flipping through really quickly here, but I could have gotten a tattoo of like the broken hearts with the two skulls looking at each other, like those, those really romantic ones. And then told her that's for us. And then she'd probably freak out and say, that means we're going to get divorced. And then I'll tell her, well, that's why I got the tattoo so small. Cause it's easier to cover up and all that. Blah, blah. Okay. Looks like there's no short prints that I can see in here. We just wasted a whole bunch of time on that. So we have two. This one looks like it has color. This one doesn't. So we're going to go for this one. Two relics. I don't know if they have auto relics in this set or not. I can't remember. I don't think they do. But our first relic is a Brock Lesnar. Authentic matte relic. WrestleMania 31 used one. That's the one that they show. That's like the card that they show on the, like the, the cardboard connection pictures of this stuff. Why doesn't it want to focus on him? What is wrong with my camera? There we go. Brock Lesnar, authentic matte relic from WrestleMania 31. All right. So I think those matte relics were what they thought were going to be like the big sellers for this set. They really thought people are going to be so excited to get a matte relic from WrestleMania. It's cool. But once you have like a hundred of them, you could just build your own mat. Like, that's pretty much what they should. I wish the mats had, like, the WrestleMania logo on it because I've never, ever seen a mat relic that has any type of logo or staining or anything like that on it, which always makes me think it isn't actually the authentic mat. But, okay, we have a silver parallel. No, not a silver parallel. I'm drunk. We have a bronze parallel, and this one is obviously going to be another relic of... Nikki Bella. Uh, out of 10. Okay. So that is a gold, even though we didn't realize it. That's a 4 out of 10. And it's got the nice line from her shirt. 
but that shirt doesn't match the shirt that she's wearing there. Let's zoom in on her shirt just to be safe. It doesn't zoom properly. Okay. Does that look like it comes from that? Or those? You could say it either way. It doesn't. But it must be a different Nikki Bella shirt. But you now own an authentic event-worn Nikki Bella shirt. Just not that event that's on the card. Okay, so I'm not a Bella fan. I'm not. I have some I have a I have a couple of Bella like gold cards that I've gotten out of older sets and stuff like that. I just I'm just not a Bella fan. Never was, never will be. But yeah, that's not a bad card. Grabbing an out of ten relic, at least an out of ten relic is better than just a random freaking relic, but there we go. Okay, so we have, I guess, I guess we should just pretend like we want to put this into something. <laughs> it's just going to go into my, I have a Brock Lesnar pile. I get so many Brock Lesnar parallels and relics and things like that. I finally hit a Brock Lesnar auto a couple of months back, but I've never, I don't like actively collect him, but I do have a good amount of parallels and relics of his that I should just find somebody who really likes to collect him and just sell them the whole lot. So, so there we go. Not what you would want if you're a big card collector, but if you're going to get the road to WrestleMania packs, this is what you get. Most of the time, this is what you get. So we have an unnumbered Brock Lesnar, WrestleMania 31, Matt Relic. We have Randy Orton defeats Seth Rollins. Oh, that's the one where Rollins bounces off his back and then he flies up and gives him like the biggest RKO ever. That match was awesome, so that makes this card awesome. And of course, we have a crap ton of bronze parallels up there. I'm not going through them all again because they're just bronze parallels. And then we have an out of 10 focus. How are you not focusing on those? That, her, sorry. I, an out of 10, four out of 10, Nikita Bella. There we go. Maybe I'll put that together with the heritage out of 10 Nikki Bella card that I have and just see if somebody wants to buy a double set of out of 10 Bellas. Oh, I, I really thought that my Christmassy, wintry Hoth stuff was going to give me some good luck on this box. It was a not bad box. For ex not expecting an auto, we got two pretty good parallels. A Brock Lesnar is better than a Damian Mizdow. And a Brie Bella, Nikki Bella, whichever Bella, Big Boo Bella, whatever, whichever one. Hi. What do you want? Yeah, you need to be on camera. Okay. Say hi, Nami. Hi. Yeah? Dad too loud? Dad wake you up? No, it's not dinner time till later. Okay. No, I know. It's cold. Okay. That's Nami. That's the second oldest one. The oldest of my cats, not, not including Grandpa. Nami's the one that's been with me for almost 12 years now. Okay, Nami, once she, I think it's like about four or five more months, and Nami will have been with me longer than any other cat in Taiwan. Because my old cat, Mouthy, passed away when she was a little over 12, but she also had been on the street for almost a year before coming to me. Mama. Yeah, exactly. You miss Mau Mau? Yeah, she gets very excited when she hears Mouthy's name, even though it's been over two years. Mama. Where's Mau Mau? Where's Mau Mau? You do know people watch this video to see cards, not cats, right? Even though you're beautiful. Okay, no, you're not jumping up on me. We haven't cut your claws in a while. And I'm not wearing pants. It's the secret of my videos. Daddy doesn't wear pants. Yeah. Okay. I know. That's, that's way too much information for everybody. Okay. That is it. Like I was saying, for a box where I knew not to expect an auto... A Brock Lesnar, Matt Relic, an out of 10 Bella shirt relic, and a Randy Orton silver parallel. You can't complain on that, right? Like, the Randy Orton one will go into my Orton collection. The other two I'll use for trade bait with other people. I'm pretty sure I know a few people that would be interested in that, in, in that Nikki Bella. Do you have to do this to me right now? Excuse me. Nami. Hi. Thank you so much for the help. All right, we'll just pull back here. We'll just make Nami part of the ending of this. You're just going to sit down. Oh, yeah, just don't worry. Get yourself comfortable. 
No problem at all. Get comfortable. Thank you. Okay. That's it for me on this one. Uh, BBM 2023 got delayed and it is supposed to be out. You got a weird little thing on your ear there of some weird skin that we shouldn't really be showing on camera of me pulling it out of your head. Okay. Um, let's see. So, uh, what was I saying? BBM Ambitious 2023 is delayed until I think Christmas Day. So I should be breaking that in about one week time. I still have another video that I want to do of something I bought off Amazon that is not card related, but it's still cool as all hell. And my cats won't leave me alone. And I don't know what else. I think I'm going to pick up the last two boxes of this Road to WrestleMania. If you knock that block over on me, I will... I will toss you out the window and I'll put it on YouTube. See? See what happens? It's going to fall down. This is the block that holds up my... That holds up the camera so it doesn't fall and she's going to knock it down. Okay, that's it for me. And me and Nami, we're out of here. Like, share, subscribe. Tell everybody that you see cute cats on my video this time. And I will be back very soon. More videos. BBM. Um, I'm still waiting to get that the Japanese AV box if they did save me the one that they were supposed to save me. If they didn't, then I'll open something else on that. So coming up soon, Japanese women's wrestling, Japanese AV boxes, probably more WWE, either top throw to WrestleMania or some more Panini. And I'm going to kill this cat if she knocks that block down on me. Okay, say goodbye, Nana. Bye-bye. Nana, you were talking so well before. Okay. That's it. We're done. Stop staring at my cat. See you guys later. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.